Hi, Ron. We're back with another question from a member. Ron, in your opinion, why is it so hard to move away from judgment knowing it is what is needed to move to 5D? Okay. <clears throat> there is an assumption that you have to uh, eliminate judgment um, to, to move into the 5D. Judgment, the biggest part about judgment is that if you see it in others, then it's in you. And you judge them, and you're 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 saying that it's you don't like it in them, but it's in you what you're judging on other people. Now that's not always true, but oftentimes it is true. A sufficient number of times to be able to say, "I don't want to judge other people." Um, it, if you do, if you have a tendency to judge other people, it's usually because that's what you normally do. When you observe something um, and you see something uh, that's negative and you judge it as negative, then that makes sure that you're staying in your third dimension reality. Because when you get higher, you, you got a stick. Which end of the stick do you love the most? Or do you just love the stick? Now, if you love the one end more than the other, then that's that's going to create a judgment. That's going to create a an opinion. It's it's a there's all kinds of things involved with that, but it's only example of a third dimensional experience. A third dimensional experience is you 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 come into duality and that's where you have a choice between good and evil and that sort of stuff. Well, our desire is to get away from that. Well, then get away from it and you can slowly bring yourself as quick as you want to bring yourself back into the ascension process. Now you said that you got to, get rid of judgment before you move in, uh, know it's needed to move into the 5D. Um, that's a judgment right there by itself. And and uh, and that it's, it's just real hard to get away from it, isn't it? It's real hard to get away from judgment. But the thing of it is, is what causes the judgment is one thing holding on to that and focusing on it is a destructive part of what judgment is you're going to see things you're going to you're going to see it a, a semi coming down the road at you get out of the way well that's not a judgment that's just a survival technique you know but it is judgment isn't it because the truck has the ability to kill you so it is a judgment, but it's it's constructive. So why do you want to get away from constructive judgment? Uh, am I creating some new ideas here? Um, constructive judgment. Uh, we have to survive in life. And our part of that is to see things and uh, see things happening around us and labeling them in what we want to receive or we don't want to participate in. We have a choice. And it's not really in the event taking place. It's in what half afterwards happens to your, to fulfill, to fill in your mind. Uh, it, it, it was a bad experience. Well, then it will go away after a little bit of time, but if you have a habit of holding on to things and not letting them go, then that's where your problem with judgment is. It's a habit. And everybody has that habit. So how many people have to get rid of that to that habit to change to, to the course on 5D? Am I, am I making sense here or am I just confusing it? The fact is, is that um, we're going to move in the direction that we are focusing on. What you focus on is what you produce in your life. If you have an experience that's detrimental, 
then let it process, let your body process it. Let it, and don't judge the judgment. Just, just let it process it. And then allow yourself to come out of it without holding on to it. And if you, if you do that, then you, it, it gets canceled out from your memory system. You won't remember it so much. And you don't remember the motions that it brought up. So you just, um, you're, you're allowing yourself to be clear of those negative thoughts and ideas by just simply not participating in, in them or holding on to them anymore. I, you know, I, these are, these are things that it's, it's part of our daily lives. It's it, it, and this in the daily lives is in the minutia is where all of these things take place. And so we get to focus on whatever takes place in our life, or we can use our our hearts to con to construct different ways of thinking, and different conclusions on the way on the things that we're thinking about. And as we do that, then we have a better ability to have things happen to us, and we don't remember them because we don't blame somebody for uh, the problems that we're having. And so blaming is part of judging. Blaming is really uh, the biggest part of blaming is judgment that is negative. So if you if you want to get out of some of those problems, quit blaming people. Absolutely quit blaming yourself. Just stop it. That's all you got to do. Just stop blaming yourself. Don't negate anything about your life. Your life, as far as Prime Creator is concerned, is perfect. Because he created you that way and he doesn't see anything wrong with you. You come into third dimension and you have all of these kinds of experiences and you really judge yourself. If you want to be pure and and to get rid of all of those things, then quit judging and quit condemning yourself. Just let yourself be in peace. Just let the spirit bring peace to your heart and your mind will follow. That's the best advice I can give about that. Thank you, Ron, for that painting, that wonderful picture with your words and multiple colors that we could see clear. Thank you. You're welcome.